paragraph formatting, the paragraph dialog box. So if we're in mText, we have a paragraph panel up here. In the lower right hand corner is our paragraph dialog box. When we click on it, we can set various tabs. So over here is our left tab. So I can add a tab. So I could put a value such as say half inch in there and add it. And that's a left tab. This here is a center tab. So the center tab displays text equally on both sides. And on the right tab, the right tab, the, the text then uh, has, <clears throat> excuse me, it allows the text then to tab over. Like it, it's an increment not up to the right uh, margin though. Uh, and over here we have a decimal tab. And a decimal will have the, the text on the left and the decimal value on the right side. So you can add as many of these as you like. For example, I could add another left one here, and I could type in 1.0 and say add. And now I have two tabs uh, that I can tab things over when I hit the tab key, and it will park at those increments. Also, for paragraphs, I have the left indent. So the first line of the paragraph is shifted over. So I could shift that over, say, a quarter inch. And so the first line of each paragraph is shifted over. Um, the, the next line after that, I could have it hanging. So it could, it could be indented as well if I liked. I could also have a right indent so it doesn't go all the way up to the edge of the boundary. Uh, that it could have an indent uh, from the right side. Um, down here I can align the paragraph. Uh, so this is, uh, I can align the properties of the paragraph uh, by left, center, right, justified, distributed. I can take that off. I can space the paragraph. So I can put spacing in before the paragraph and I could put a space after the paragraph. So this then will provide a buffer between two different paragraphs, whether you want it before or after or both. It builds space in between the two different paragraphs that you have. In paragraph line spacing, we can come along and we can set the line spacing. Now, um, if I want multiples at 1x, it's actually um, the default is 1.66 times the t text height. So it's actually calculating whatever the text height is, multiplying times 1.66, and allows us to have multiple lines. I could say exactly the line spacing is some particular value, for example. Or I could say it has at least some value. So if I particularly want it to be a certain amount of line spaces in between lines, I could give it a particular value. Um, so most commonly we use multiple uh, as a value, and I could just put a value in there if I want it to be more spaced out or not. So this is our paragraph dialog box. It's found when I'm in my my text, so I gotta click on my text. Once I'm in my text, I have my text editor. In my paragraph uh, panel, in the lower right hand corner, I click on here. That brings me to the paragraph uh, dialog box. So in the paragraph dialog box, I'm able then to set anything that I need in here to control my paragraph.